Mappa Out of Context Compilation. The Kaaba is a black cube building at the center of Islam's most important mosque, the Great Mosque of Mecca. It is the most important place in the Islamic faith. So important that practitioners of Islam are almost required to take a pilgrimage to see this once in their life and give worship there. Why? Well, it's thought that the Kaaba is the house of God, the sacred house, the connection between heaven and the earth. The Kaaba is a sacred place with an inside of gold and marble, but on the outside, it appears to just be a large black cube of dark granite. Just like we see in the game with the dark prismarine. The rule of thumb, which was the first thing that I learned about in college. Someone just came up and told me this. It was very strange. Anyway, if you're ever asking yourself, is it creepy that I'm dating this younger person? You divide your age by two, and then you add seven. That gives you the minimum age of the person you could be dating without it getting too icky. So, Ash. So it looks like someone finally got a piece of that cake, if you know what I'm saying. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Blow, chicka, blow, blow. Let's get it on from downtown. <laughs> You see, the average male height of a human being is 5 foot 6 inches tall, 1.67 meters. The average female is 5'2", or 1.57 meters. Our crewmates in Among Us who property, huh? All of these factors combined to make European cities a breeding ground for all kinds of horrible diseases. North America, meanwhile, with its lack of densely populated cities, stood in stark contrast. And hence, the indigenous people of North America had no plagues. All of that is a fascinating and frankly tragic look at history that in a former life I studied neuroscience. And one of the labs that I worked in did experiments using these sorts of EEG caps, or electroencephalography caps. Basically, these caps are networks of electrodes placed at specific locations around the head, all reading electrical signals that are passing from one section of the brain to the next. No joke, in the experiment that I worked on, I could read what a person's brain was thinking before they themselves realized it. Now, obviously, I'm talking about very rudimentary signals here, but in theory, in neurological theory, I was taking a person's thoughts and I was putting them into a computer computer via these electrical signals. This could be an explanation for the Amanda monster. I'll have one on your behalf. Thanks, smiley Aggressive face. smiley face. <laughs> smiley face, slightly blushing. I'll catch up with you some other time. And don't overdo it. Watch your calories. Don't you tell me how many calories I need, bitch! According to research done on the traits kids inherit from their parents, sons tend to inherit more traits from their mother. Daughters tend to show more balanced heritability. And the parts of the face that are the most handed down are the tip of the nose, as well as the area just below it, known as the Filtrum. And wouldn't you know it, Dream's nose and Filtrum, the most famous accidental lobotomy in history, Phineas Gage, who literally had an iron rod shot straight through his head, completely destroying his left frontal lobe. One of the most striking differences between pre-Pole Phineas and post-Pole Phineas was his sense of inhibition. And by that I mean post-Pole Phineas had none. He had no sense of caution, no sense of fear or self-consciousness. He was described to be impulsive to the point of being rude and vulgar in public. No fear, no anxiety, no social pressure anywhere. Going back to the game, when college students were given one of three colored numbers, red, green, or black, and then asked to take a simple test, those with the red numbers scored more than 20% lower than those presented with either the green or black numbers. That is a huge difference, all from witnessing a different color prior to taking the test. On the complete other end of the spectrum, colors like blue have shown themselves to have a calming effect on people. Some studies have even shown that looking at the color blue literally release endorphins that help you physically calm down. All of these very real effects happening simply by looking at different colors. So, given that science has proven time and again that we have both physical and mental reactions to color, how can we use this knowledge to our advantage in a game like Among Us? I bring this biological detour up because it brings up an interesting point about the animal kingdom. The larger an animal species is, the more likely it is to favor quality of offspring over quantity of offspring. Smaller animals like insects, rabbits, and birds can afford to have a lot of babies at once, while larger species like whales, elephants, and rhinos are much slower to reproduce. The ender dragon, if you had two cups upside down with a treat in one and you pointed to the one with the treat in it, dogs will use that cue to turn over the cup that you pointed to. Chimps, meanwhile, will ignore that clue completely. And this is where it appears that dogs are more intelligent than monkeys. On top of that, dogs are also better able to read facial expressions than a monkey. So dogs aren't stupid. In fact, far from it. They're using 
inferential reasoning and emotional intelligence far more than our monkey predecessors. So really, in the end, the bluey post-apocalypse theory, but when it comes to religion, 23 is an even bigger deal. You see, in the Islamic faith, there's the Quran. It's the Islamic sacred book, just like Christians have themselves the Bible and Judaism has the Torah. The Quran is believed to be the word of God as dictated to the prophet Muhammad. And it took, get this, 23 years for the entire book to be revealed to Muhammad. It's also Muslim belief that the first verses of the Quran were revealed to the prophet Muhammad on the 23rd night of the ninth Islamic month. So again, in the Islamic faith, the number 23 matters a lot, meaning that those 23 pillars in the Minecraft Ocean Monument, think about it, in space, there's no air. That means that in space, there's no oxygen floating around to be a part of your combustion reaction. So how do you get a combustion reaction in the vacuum of space? Well, one answer is to bring along your own oxygen in liquid form. That's what was used by the Aerojet Rocketdyne RS-25 engine that was used on the NASA space shuttle. Though that, that's about six times hotter than the surface of the sun. And so what happens when you heat water really quickly in an enclosed space? Well, it turns into a gas and expands. It needs a place to go in a hurry. In an instant, the pressure inside the tree builds until finally the gas pushes so hard that the bark can't handle it anymore, causing the tree to literally explode. Wood and splinters are sent flying everywhere, as if we didn't need more reasons to stay indoors playing video games. Now, these splinters aren't exactly homing missiles, but it does show that tree plus water plus electricity does result in flying plant projectiles that can do some serious damage on impact. On Genshin Impact! King Midas was this super wealthy guy who was obsessed with gold. One day, he does a favor for the god of wine, Dionysus, who thanks him by granting Midas one wish. The king wishes that everything he touched turned to gold. Dionysus is like, you sure, bro? And Midas is like, what could possibly go wrong? The next day, Midas quickly learns what could possibly go wrong when he accidentally turns his food, drinks, and even his daughter to solid gold. Midas is sad. Dionysus is like, you dumb. Gets Midas to bathe in the river to reverse his wish, and Midas becomes really generous to the people of his kingdom. It is a great little story about how greed can blind us, and how having all the earthly riches we desire could actually be a curse. Also, just a good story about thinking about your damn wishes before you make them. Anyway, back in Hermitcraft, humans are able to process more shades of green than any other color. But not all greens are created equally. When you break down our biological sensitivity to light, our eyes work best at the light wavelength of 555 nanometers. That means that under normal lighting conditions, our eyes are most sensitive to a yellowish green color. In other words, during an emergency meeting, theoretically a piece of lens daylight with a perfect hexagonal lattice would be up to 58% harder than diamond. The big asterisk here though is that the lens daylight fragments that we've recovered so far have just a lot of impurities, and as a result, only measure around 7 to 8 on the Mohs hardness scale. But in its pure form, Lund's Daleite is basically diamond plus. They're both essentially the same material, carbon, just subjected to different levels of heat and pressure. And the fact that it's so similar to an actual diamond makes it a fascinating parallel to netherite. Jesus is also dressed in red and blue. The interpretation of his colors is that the blue represents the divine half of God, heaven, and his red represents the blood, mankind. So in Jesus, you have the mixing of these two elements, a god born amongst men and set to live as a human, red plus blue. And in Pomni, we- Back in 1926, the last of Yellowstone National Park's wolf packs were killed off by employees, all as a part of an effort to reduce danger to humans that might be camping there. Good job, humans! Way to punish animals for the problems that we ourselves create. However, this set off a chain reaction of unintended consequences. By removing an apex predator from the ecosystem, suddenly the elk population exploded inside the park, and they began to overgraze. This then damaged the population of trees, which in turn lowered the number of birds that the area could support. It also made it so beavers were unable to properly build their dams, which caused higher levels of soil erosion along the riverbanks. The erosion and overgrazing impacted the plant life near the river that shaded the water, which combined with the lack of beaver dams, raised the water temperature beyond what the local fish could tolerate. The ecosystem was in a death spin. The only thing to stop the downward spiral was a reintroduction of wolves back into the ecosystem. And this is what I suspect happened between Minecraft Dungeon, but instead they decided decided to go with the Ankh, a symbol of life. Interesting. What's more, the Ankh didn't just symbolize life. It was a symbol of the idea of the continuity of life. The ancient Egyptians were famous for mummifying their dead and then building elaborate, beautiful, and massive tombs for them. All of this was based on the idea that what we now think of as death wasn't the end of life, but rather just one step on their journey into the afterlife, hence the need to preserve the physical body even after all signs of life leave it. That is, roughly what the Ankh stood for, eternal life.
life, life after death, which 